So, I finally got Peem. Holy lord, I've been trying to get her for, well, ever since I said I was gonna do Shanks. Because, well, I had to look at some tutorial videos to beat the Dream Island and she was used. As well as the fact that she's just a very good unit overall. And I have spent over 70,000 puzzles trying to get her and I finally got her. It took a lot, but yeah. At least now I have her, and I can finally work on, uh, what's his name, uh, Shanks. I have done Gojo already, I don't know if I'm gonna show that or not, so that's why I'm mentioning it. But yeah, I have gotten him and he's very good. Now, Shanks, I just need damage and the uh, auto medals and the straw hats, which hopefully won't be too hard. I haven't finished the worry mode, so I can't do the straw hats raid. Wait, hold on. No, wait, I don't have to do that. My bad, never mind. Uh, so basically, all I have to do is figure out how to beat Dream Island to get the auto medals. If I can do that, I'm Gucci. Damage is very easy to get. The red orbs very easy to get, of course. And the straw hats are actually pretty easy as well if I go over to Adventure. I can't do this because I haven't beaten the story, but... What I can do is do this one and do it on uh, challenger mode and I'll get like at least one every time and sometimes two, sometimes maybe three I think so won't take too long. The problem is the auto medals 100%. This dream island can go screw itself. <laughs> I hate it. But I am gonna go check out what Peem exactly does because I don't really know exactly what she does. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm going to uh, try to figure out a team to do this. So yeah, I'll see you, see you when that's done. Right, yeah, I found the team I was gonna, I am going to use. This one pretty easy. As soon as I can, uh, as long as I can uh, survive until I get a full AOE ghetto, I am pretty fine. Which is pretty much just get past wave forty or what? Wave 4 pretty much. So that's not too much trouble. But yeah, I got 3 and I think I need, what, 7? So 2 more if I, unless I get very unlucky, like with the masks. So hopefully that's not the case. I do want to check though. But yeah, Peem is very, very good. Being able to not only raise base health, but removing debuffs. That's insane. Okay, yeah, I need 4 more medals. So... I'm gonna get going and uh, working on that. See you when I've gotten those. And, or, you know what? I'll see you once I've gotten them and the hats. And uh, then I'll get the damage and the orbs off camera. But yeah, for now, bye bye. Alright, so I've uh, finally gathered enough stuff. Uh, I did some stuff in between, so it's been a little while, but doesn't really matter too much to me. But I have got another thing. I forgot to record the Straw Hat gathering, but oh well. So now it's time to evolve once everything loads real quick. Yeah, alright. Let me just... And... Bam! Alright, nice. Just realized I got spoiled by that uh, uh, that quote, but oh well. Does his cosmetic change? Yes, a little bit, okay. I'm not gonna use this though, I don't think so. Yeah, am I able to get... Okay, nice, there we go. 2k DPS, okay. That's a good starting damage, or starting DPS. With 44 range, okay, very nice. Alright, so, once again, I'm gonna check him out without any buffs other than idol. I do hope he's a full AoE stun. That would be very nice. It's a lot better than his cone, so... He starts out as a line AoE, so that's different. He does have a buff called New Era. Increase 5% attack per upgrade pirate. Okay... So, you can place more than one as well, so that's good. 
Right, uh, so increase value per, per upgrade pirate category. Okay, so I think per upgrade, every unit who is a pirate uh, within his range gets an up attack buff, if I understand that correctly. Maybe I'm just having a brain fart, but that's a little confusing to me. But, oh well. That, that's actually pretty cool. I know uh, All Might and All For One has similar buffs, with uh, All For One being villains and uh, All Might being heroes, but I know as well that Blood Queen has a thing, but I haven't checked out what she does. So, yeah. Uh, but I'm gonna come back when I have uh, some money, so we can check out uh, the attacks and everything. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so I have a little bit of money. Um, I'll slowly upgrade. His new upgrade gets on upgrade 4, I believe. And it's Hockey Slash, which turns into a circle. Not too great. But uh, he has about 231k damage with the idle buff, which is pretty nice. I, he stayed last stun. Is he a stun? Yeah, okay, he's a stun the entire way through, which is nice. And you can place down 3 of him. The yeah, next is a full AoE, Hockey Storm. Which is very nice. He has 500k damage without uh, or before upgrading. And then 662k, okay. So he's a fully we and gets an ability. Stops enemy moving for 9 seconds. Still 5 times damage to enemies in range. Ooh, okay. And max is 1 million. His max for me, which I believe is 115% uh, attack. I don't know. But max is about 1.2 million every 8 seconds in a range of 94 as well as his ability being a 45 second cooldown okay that's pretty good you know what i forgot what i was gonna say but yeah his ability that's pretty good that deals like almost 6 million as well as time as well as stopping them for 9 seconds that's yeah that's very good I do wish though that uh, that his cooldown was lower. 45 is very high, but it does kind of make some sense with how with how good his ability is. But yeah, that has been it, I guess. Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video in one way, shape, or form. I guess if you did, nice. If you didn't, not nice. My bad. I'll try harder next time. Maybe. I do hope to see you in another video. And for now, bye bye. Travel to the break and turn around and go I'm on a mission, riding up whatever it is I gotta do, riding up